guys. Um, just going to talk about um, why train, why focus on technique. If you've watched a few of my videos, I'm really into the technique and doing everything right, and it's a bit complicated, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I mean, in my um, first club, they just had this ad, you just play. The more you play, the better you get. You don't have lessons. You don't worry about technique. And that's generally true. If you play five times a week, you know, in six months, you will improve, you know, gradually improve. And it might go up and down a bit. But um, you'll see the ball better and, you, you know, the anticipation will be better and you'll generally improve. But you'll come to a point where you can't improve that much more because you're sort of doing wrong things or not moving your feet. And you'll come across players that have some training and are doing better technique and they'll wipe you off the court. Um, so if you don't get reasonably good technique, you kept, your progress will be capped at a certain level. It might keep improving slightly as you play, but you come across people that train, you know, two or three times a week and um, with a coach even, and they'll just technically could put more spin on the ball. They can hit it harder. Their footwork's better. Their serve's a lot better, more spinny, hard to read. The serve returns better. They flick better. You're wiped out. And so you can only go so far. So, you know, like you want to, you know, really focus on your technique. Um, to really improve so your technique's not capped. And it's difficult. If you've learned to hit the ball like this and like this with no body motion, tightening up, tightening up, it's going to take a long time to change that technical element or you do a forehand and you don't rotate enough. And um, you've got this ingrained pattern in your brain, muscle memory, of how to hit the ball. You know, you hit the ball, tightening up, right? Tightening up. And I want you to do this, relax to hit the ball, relax. It's totally different. And the brain has to learn a totally new pattern. And it's difficult to change muscle memory. Um, that's why training, table tennis is a hard sport to learn. Ideally, you learn the right technique from day one. Like the Chinese, I've heard, do shadow swings for three months before they can before they hit the ball. So they learn the right technique, you know, sequences, moving, before they hit the ball. So they're relaxed and, you know, boom, boom, boom. And so when they hit the ball, they've got the right good fundamentals. And uh, in the West, we get a ball, just hit it, boom, boom. We learn the wrong technique from day one. And then we've got these ingrained bad habits. So we have to change them. So if you look at um, the latest research from muscle memory, it takes about 10 hours to change a habit of doing one thing. So that's a lot of hours to reprogram your brain. And that's why it's difficult to make changes. So I've heard in China they practice one stroke for three months as a junior. So they really get in muscle memory. And in the West, no one's going to practice one stroke for three months. They just go crazy. And um, most lessons you practice five or diff 10 different things. So to make a change, Try maybe for one week, really focus on one aspect and um, just practice on a robot or multi ball or whatever. And just try and do one stroke. If you try and practice two strokes, um, the first thing, the muscle memory will take longer, unfortunately. Um, so what I suggest is learn to shadow swing the correct stroke first and then do that every day. That's my, that's mine. Ma Long would go more like this. He'd, he'd uh, drop this right hip back a bit more, you know, so there's different variations. But um, get the right stroke and relax swing. Get some feedback from a coach. You'll send me a little video or join tth.com and send little videos to Brett Clark, who's the real expert. Um, and then shadow swing it every day for twice a day for a few minutes, or as long as you can do it and do it over two weeks. And then maybe get a robot and practice the perfect form not trying to blast it, being relaxed, boom, you know, wrist flick, everything I've talked about some of my videos, um, get feedback from a good player. Most coaches, um, you know, try and get a good coach. That's all I'm going to say because um, I went to South Australia and had some lessons and um, two, two well coach, well-known coaches and they, for, uh, they told me the totally opposite thing for, for one aspect of my game. I knew which was right, but I wasn't going to argue with him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it does take time to change bad habits. And it's 
just you know you just have to keep going at it and you'll find in training you can do it and then when the ball gets random there's a, that was a mozzie um you know it breaks down and it's very frustrating that you can do it in training the right technique and it breaks down so you need to introduce a random element in your training or have a robot that could do random balls like uh, my robot um, certain robots three wheel robots you can randomize the spin placement and speed and so you want to introduce the random so when you're practicing one stroke you want to make it harder and harder and harder or more and more random so you're really pushing yourself to get into muscle memory um, so it's not just easy robot yeah I can do this I can do it 100% but as soon as the ball comes a different spin I'll just blow it so you want to have the random element so it is hard to change bad habits um, but you can do it, you know, you're just persistent and there'll come a time where you'll beat those players that beat you now, like for my case, this guy used to always beat me and he was so unorthodox and he did weird, like weird strokes, but he was, had more talent than me, he was younger, faster and he always used to beat me and, and um, just six months ago, I beat him consistently, 11-3 was one game because my technique's better than his now. I can hit the ball faster, place it better. He struggles with my serves more, my serve returns better. Just my whole game's better and he's really struggling because he's not, um, and if I keep improving, I'll beat him even easier. So I recommend you like 70, 80% training and 20% games in, you know, in the week if you can do it. So try and find a coach or a good training partner. Um, robots have their limitations. I'd really recommend try and find a um, training partner, you know, like once a week, two, twice a week, three times a week or whatever, and play matches once a week maybe. And that's how you're going to really um, progress. But when you're learning and you really want to get the right form, so you're not practicing a bad form from day one when you're shallow, you want to change something, you know, you want to, you know, for my, this is this form, or you might do this more, more, more. That's how, you know, you, you, you want, you don't want to do this. So you have to get some feedback about the right form, being relaxed. You know, the body's coming forward as the bat's going back. Um, those are technical elements. Um, I'm starting to ramble. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you like my videos. Um, you know, because I'm doing it for free. Enjoy.